I want to talk about guavas and what I call transport shock, not transplant, but transport. Guavas are notorious for their foliage drying up and it looks like the plant is dying anytime they get moved. They're kind of along the lines of lychee and Jamaican cherry that just moving from one environment to another more often than not causes them to shed their foliage. And this is quite common. The tree is not dying. So you can see a lot of crunchy dry leaves, yellowing leaves. Guavas are actually pretty tough plants. And then shortly thereafter, you can see the new buds coming out. So if you buy a guava tree and you get it home and after a few days it starts looking like this, don't panic. As long as the branches are still pliable, you can actually just knock the old leaves off if you want. Make sure it stays hydrated. Shade is not an issue for guavas. They'll take our Phoenix sun. And just be patient. As you can see here, new growth coming out all over the trees. Even the cold damaged guavas that saw the hell that we had in January and February. You can see the old leaves here. They were cold damaged, but then they're starting to flush out with all the new growth and these are gonna be full and pretty again here in the next week or two. And you won't even know that anything happened to them. So once again, don't panic, all of you guava tree buyers. It is common that you're going to get a lot of this. Even looking, I've got 400 guava trees here, and probably 20% of them look like they're dying. Like I said, in another week or two, they're all going to be pretty again. Fish emulsion and seaweed is really good. Seaweed is a root stimulator. That's going to help them flush out again, keep them hydrated, get them out of the pots, get them into the ground. If you have any questions, ask in our Facebook group, Living the Green Life. Also, our website is greenlifebyshamusoleary.com. Thanks and have a good evening.